I go by the name of Steph London and my full name is Stephanie Allen. I'm 5'3". No, I'm 5'5". Five five. Oh my God. I was eight years old when I wrote my first song. When the crowd recites your lyrics, I think that's the most amazing feeling to like, the whole crowd knows. The best crowd? I would literally say London. My style is very sexy, meets the ghetto sometimes. I would say ghetto fabulous, but it was more ghetto, not fabulous. <laughs> my dress is by Bottega Veneta. Most of my rings are from Bulgari. I would say loyal, given, and determined. How to make more money. <laughs> My best career moment is when Little Kim flew out to see me. Like, I mean, to perform with me, like literally. That, I think, is priceless. I was actually born in Birmingham and I grew up in Holland and London. Uh, do my lecker meets. It means don't do it, but like, lecker means like nice. I'll say it's a couple places, at home or studio. Definitely got a slang off my girls for my husband. <laughs> Sorry, girls. There was a guy who was like a family friend. He came up with Steph London. He's like, if you put it together, it's like, Steph, you're from London. And then I told my friends and they always laughed him. And then they all would call me and be like, yo, Steph London. Definitely money. Hosting or turning up as a guest. Definitely turning up as a guest because you could leave when you want. Depends what we're talking about, girl. <laughs> if here's what I'm thinking about, then uh, late nights a variety of things. Scrolling through Instagram, it could be walking down Bond Street. They're as important, oh my gosh. My nails can't be brought down, because then I feel brought down. And if my hair's brought down, I'll feel brought down as well. Everyone needs a fur jacket. It doesn't have to be real. Do I prefer heels or trainers? I prefer heels. Oh, Chris Brown's album. It was the one that had that song, young boy just turned 16 and I got Baby, you might be three years older, but you. Destiny Child. Say my name, say my name. Yes, say my name. We are the cheeky girls. We are the cheeky girls. <laughs> <laughs> but the best decade for me was definitely early 2000s. I feel like the music was like real because you had to go out and buy singles and you literally had to watch TV to see these videos. Like you couldn't go on your phone and go on YouTube and type in a video whenever you wanted to. You literally had to run to the TV. What inspired Move? Um, first of all, the beat inspired me. It speaks and it tells you what should be on the beat. <laughs> and I feel like when I heard that beat, it was strictly like, I gotta talk my ish, you know what I'm saying? I gotta say some stuff. And I think sometimes, obviously, I do a lot of features where I'm singing and I feel like it was just needed to like, just drop a rap song again. To not care about what anybody thinks or says. I've definitely learned you're in control of your life. And I feel like people who don't believe that always realizing that at a very later stage in life, take all the chances while you can while you're young and do everything you love. <laughs>